Welcome back to Smoky Ribs. I'm Russ Jones. Today I'm going to be doing a USDA Prime Tri Tip. Let's get busy. Tri tip that is something that is just virtually impossible to find in my area. I've only done one and that was about three years ago and I had to have a butcher over in Long Beach, Mississippi actually cut that out for me. But just recently I have heard and discovered a company called Matador Prime Steak Company and they sent me out this tri tip right here. This is Prime USDA Prime. Look at the marbling on this. I know this is going to be delicious. So we're going to start with a little flake salt. This is Jacobson flake salt. Now I've got some cracked, fresh cracked black pepper that I just cracked in my Ninja. And like I always do on any beef, I always add a little cayenne. Now on the back side, we have a fat cap that we're going to leave. That's one thing about Matador meats is they completely trim this meat ready to go. No trimming necessary regardless if you get brisket, steaks, whatever. And by the way, they have pork, they have uh, Berkshire pork, and they also have free range chickens. So I'm looking forward to trying a lot of their products. Like I said, it's virtually impossible to find anything good like that around here. These stores just don't have it. It's always just select or choice when it comes to beef. and. Uh, I'm here to tell you, good meat is half the battle when it comes to good barbecue. This tri-tip is looking good. We're getting ready to put it on a smoker. I'm going to be using my Lone Star Grills 24 by 36 offset smoker. Haven't fired it up in a while, so I'm really looking forward to this today. I know it's going to do a wonderful job on this Matador tri-tip. And as you can see, I'm right there at 225. So we're going to go ahead and raise this lid going to be doing this on the bottom rack. Now if you'll look, you'll see how I configured these tuning plates. I've got them all pulled together right there. I don't, I don't want no gaps between these three tuning plates letting the hot air come up. I've got a gap right there at the firebox and the rest of it's wide open and this is where I'm going to be placing my meat and it is holding perfect temperature for what I'm looking for. Like I said in a few videos, these tuning plates can be arranged all kind of different ways to where you uh, can get it to do what you want it to do. We're going to go in right here. I'm going to take this thermometer, which is hot, and we're going to go what I'm calling center. Close her up, and we're going to monitor it from there. When I'm in the ballpark, I'll take my instant read and also check it to verify the temperatures or where I want them. It has been dipping down in the mid 20s for the last two nights. It's cold out here, but man, this Lone Star Grills all set is having no problem maintaining temperature. I've just got a small fire and I actually had to close down the um, intake on this to achieve the 225 I was looking for. Otherwise, wide open, it was going to run somewhere between 250 and 275. So I just love the fact, and if you'll look, you don't see any smoke. There's smoke, but that's exactly what you're looking for right there. Very happy with this smoker. All right, now this tri-tip, you can eat it just like it is, just like a steak or any good cut of beef. But what I'm going to do with it is put together some really good killer sandwiches, and we're going to start with a garlic, a roasted garlic mayo. First thing I'm going to do is add in one half cup of mayo, use your favorite. All right, now I took and roasted some garlic earlier. I don't need all of this. I'm gonna squeeze out about three cloves. I've got one tablespoon of olive oil going in. I've got the zest of one half of a fresh lemon. Just a little lemon juice. That should be good. 
and around a half teaspoon of salt. And once again, I'm using the Jacobson. This is a cherry wood smoked salt, really good stuff. Take a whisk and incorporate all these ingredients very well. Pop it back in the fridge and just let it hang out in there until you're actually ready to use it. All right, as you can see, we are still holding right on to 25. I tell you what, the way I did these tuning plates really seemed to work. I had just enough opening coming from the firebox to allow smoke and heat run across the meat, but it was protected almost like a deflector plate from the way you would normally do the tuning plates, if that makes any sense. Just another thing you can do. All right, let's check it according to my thermometer. We're somewhere in the neighborhood of about two, I mean, I'm sorry, 125. Ooh, it's got a really nice color on it. So I'm going to take my instant read here and we're going to see what we got internal. 125. 127. 138. Yep, 127. All right, I'm going to pull this probe out. We're going to go ahead and remove this. I'm going to set it over here in a pan for the time being while I make some adjustments on the firebox. One minute on each side. Move it around. Let's give her a flip and see what we got. Oh, yes, perfect. Look at that beautiful piece of meat. So even though this is smoked, it's still more of a reverse sear. That's, that's really all it is. This is what we got. Look at that. All right, I'm taking it off. I'm happy with that. We're going to take it off. We're going to let it rest around 10 minutes. So the grain on a tri-tip is kind of unusual. Your halfway point is around right here and this grain is running this way. Now from here over, it starts to turn more like this and actually curves into here. So the best way to cut this is to cut it right in half here. Oh, that's cutting right through. Look at that. Perfect medium rare. I mean, that is perfection. Look at that. Like I said, the grain here is running more like this. So we're going to start slices this way here. Gorgeous color. Oh my goodness. I can already tell how tender this is. All right, so we're going to hold that for the time being, and I'm going to try a piece of this meat. Mmm. Mmm. So moist, so full of flavor. This is really good. Mmm. Super juicy. All right, so I'm going to set all this meat off to the side that I've carved, and from here, we're going to put together... A sandwich with this. Like I said, you could eat this just like steak. That's basically all it is. It's, it's a type of steak. So full of flavor. So I've taken some of my slices of tri-tip. From here we're going to layer on some provolone cheese. And I'm going to put this under the broiler and melt this cheese real fast.
All right, our cheese is melted. Now I'll take some of the roasted garlic mayo. Put it on your top and bottom bun. From here, I'm going to layer on some baby spinach. You could also use an arugula for this. And on with the meat. Put her cap on it. Tri-tip sandwich. All right, I cannot wait to dive into this. See what we got. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Here we go. I don't have to tell you how good this sandwich is. Fantastic. This meat is what makes it so juicy, so tender, such a good beefy flavor. Tri-tip didn't used to be known as being like a really good cut of meat because it's not exactly tender unless you know how to cook it, cooking it right like I showed you today and knowing how to cut it against the grain and understanding the grain patterns on the tri-tip. You follow that and you're going to have success every time. I want to thank Matador Meats for sending that out. I look forward to doing other videos in the future featuring some of the fine meats from Matador Prime Steak Company. I want to give a special shout out. It's not a YouTube channel. He's actually a subscriber and he drew a picture of me and it, it was kind of a pretty good resemblance, I think. Showed double chin and all. <laughs> but his name is Raul and he's from Mexico and I was really impressed with the uh, picture. I want to thank you for that again. It just come out of the blue. He messaged it to me on my uh, Smoker Riz Facebook page. So big shout out to Raul. Thank you, brother. For all of you that might be interested in trying the Matador meats from uh, Matador Prime Steak Company, there's going to be a code in the description box for 10% off. I hope you check them out. You're going to be very impressed. Hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, smoke your ribs. Mm -hmm.